What's up everybody, it's Old Man Winter 8 for Sun and Ski Sports and we're gonna find out if the Never Summer Breezy Rider is a wise buy for you. So the Breezy Rider is a brand new board for 24-25 with the success of the men's Easy Rider. The women wanted to have a version of their own and that's where the Breezy Rider comes in. It does have a little bit more of a medium soft flex and it is an ASIM twin board. So you'll notice that the graphic on this thing pretty much kind of goes this way and it's exactly the same on the nose and tail. And that's because this thing actually does have a heel side edge and a toe side edge. So if you're right foot forward, that's the nose. And if you're left foot forward, that's the nose. And having those opposite edges, it's a little bit harder to get a good super carve on your heel side edge. It's a lot easier to do that on your toe side edge. So this basically gives you a little bit of more of an advantage on your heels to make it a little easier to carve. And then the bend on this thing is their new triple camber. So this is pretty cool. Instead of just doing a rocker in the middle to camber in the nose and tail like the majority of the Never Summer boards and what they're really, really known for, they've added a tiny little pocket of camber in between your feet too. It's still rocker dominant, so the tips are lifted up and you still have that catch free feel. But by added that little extra camber in between your feet, it's making this board carve even harder and really, really dig in, especially on those harder, icier conditions. It also sturdies it up in between your feet too. So you can have that medium soft board that feels exactly like a stiff board when you need it to. And then in addition to that, their power grip side cut where it actually has a deep side cut, then it goes into a shallow side cut, and then it's flat in between your feet adds an incredible amount of grip. And the really cool thing about this is that when you look down the edge, you can kind of see where those come together. They don't make it super blended from one radius to the other on that side cut. And what that does is when you flex the board, it accentuates those points and gives you extra points that want to dig into those harder, icier conditions. So you really are getting a board that can carve like a stiffer board, no matter what the flex is. And then inside they're doing their classic bi-light glass with that triple layer FDS dampening. And it goes along the edges and it's underneath the feet to really get rid of those bad vibrations that can shake your board loose when you're trying to carve. And it also has their carbon VXR in the tips. And it's basically two carbon Vs that are going from your bindings out and then another one kind of up here. And that gives you a lot of extra spring, a lot of extra pop, and more importantly, a lot of extra stability. When you land on this thing and you're leaning a little too far forward, a little too far back, it wants to set you back down and really, really gives you that extra stability. And then just like all the Never Summer boards, we've got that centered base. So it's super, super fast and very, very durable right out of the packaging. But is the Breezy Rider a wise buy for you? Well, this is for those female riders who are a little bit more on the intermediate to advanced side and are probably riding park. That does have that twin tip shape and it does have that medium soft flex. But the really cool thing is if you are more of an all mountain rider who just likes a little easier, smoother feel in general, this thing is gonna perform a lot more like an all mountain board than you would think. Like I said, the combination of that side cut and that triple camber in the board really takes a board that is nice and soft feeling overall and makes it feel way stiffer and way sturdier. When you do put this thing on edge and you are riding faster, it makes it want to push back like crazy. So it can hold an edge way, way better than most boards at the same flex range. And that being said, even some of those riders who are a little bit more higher end beginner, maybe you've already kind of figured out snowboarding, you still consider yourself a beginner, but you're feeling comfortable getting down the hill without falling. This is actually not a bad board for somebody to progress on. It does have that soft, easy, easy feel. And when you do start to ride faster and you do start to ride a little bit harder, that triple cam and everything is going to push back and it's really going to be there when you need it. But if you got any questions about anything we talked about in the video, definitely leave some comments down below. Also make sure to like and subscribe to the Sun and Ski YouTube channel. Make sure to head into any of their locations or if you don't have a location nearby, check them out on the web at www.sunandski.com.